it's time for Better Retirement with Citizen Advisory Group. So let's talk about Medicare and special enrollment periods because there are special enrollment periods. You can't enroll for Medicare all the time, can you? Yeah, so uh, with Medicare, there are many different enrollment periods of, of when and want to enroll into Medicare or picking up a Medicare supplement or Medicare Advantage plan. So special enrollment periods, this can actually happen throughout the year. So uh, there are some qualifying events that, that may take place throughout the year that we do have a slide that we'll be able to show some of that information. So it's not open enrollment all the time, but there are some maybe events that happen in your life that could make it happen. So like this slide shows, if I lose my employer coverage. Yes, yeah, so if um, I get fired. Yeah, well hopefully that doesn't happen to you. So, you think you do a great job. Yeah, well here. thanks. Um, so with with Medicare, uh, you know, you're eligible for Medicare at age 65. Uh, most people aren't aware of that. You don't necessarily have to take Medicare when you're first eligible. Um, as long as you're, you either have, you know, you're still working and have credible coverage or potentially your spouse is still working, you have credible coverage, you can delay Medicare and pick it up at a later time as well as a supplement or a Medicare Advantage plan that goes along with Medicare. So let's see, it says if I lose employer coverage, if I move out of plans service Skip. area. So surface area is going to pertain to where someone lives, so that's typically going to be a county. Okay. Um, and if, if, say, you move out of Lucas County, for example, um, then you can potentially pick up another plan throughout the year. So that's going to really pertain to more of the Medicare Advantage plan and prescription drug plan side of things. So say you move uh, to either another county or potentially out of state that would allow you to pick up a plan uh, during the year. If I qualify for a low income subsidy, then perhaps I'd be able to change my Medicare? Yep, so you can actually change your Medicare Advantage plan and, and, and prescription drug plan, because Medicare doesn't cover everything, so those, those are um, additional plan options that go along with Medicare. And if you qualify for a low income subsidy, where that's a, a discount towards your medications, you can actually switch your Medicare Advantage plan uh, as well as your prescription drug plan throughout the year. If I no longer qualify for Medicaid, so that would be perhaps if I now am making more money? Yep, correct. Correct. So, it, so say your income has changed at some point, um, then you do get the opportunity again to make a plan change, uh, you know, if you choose to do so. So either a, um, on the Medicare Advantage plan side of things or the prescription drug plan side of things as well. Moved into or out of an institution, that would be perhaps like a rehab Facility yeah, so um, you know if you're moving in or moving out again, that's going to allow the opportunity to you know to pick up a plan uh, as well throughout the year. Um, if you do have a Medicare supplement, by the way, so Medicare supplements uh, that's different from a Medicare Advantage plan that goes along with Medicare. Those are going to be identified by a letter. Um, you can actually switch those throughout the year. Um, in, in that case, you typically just have to be able to qualify medically in order to do so to pick up a supplement. And then if, of course, the plan contract is terminated. Yeah, so those typically Medicare Advantage plans, and those are annual contracts with Medicare and the insurance company. If your plan does not renew for the following year, uh, that's going to allow you the opportunity to pick up a plan, um, you know, either a Medicare supplement or a Medicare Advantage plan, typically without any pre-existing conditions. And then also, just to back up on the losing employer mm -hmm. coverage, um, so say your employer, so say you are retired and you have employer-sponsored health coverage that, that carried over, and if that essentially terminates, um, you know that you do get the opportunity to be able to pick up a plan, also regardless of pre-existing conditions as well. So that's either voluntarily or involuntarily. That can actually happen throughout the year as well. So let's say none of these things have happened to me, and I just want to make some changes. I cannot do those just randomly. I, those have to be done during certain windows, Correct. Right? So again, Medicare supplements, you can actually change those throughout the year. Why would someone want to change that? It's potentially if their premium has, has, mm -hmm. has increased. Uh, we're an independent agency, so we pretty much represent many of the different carriers out there. So that, that's something you can actually do throughout the year. But as far as Medicare Advantage plans and prescription drug plans, you're correct. There's only certain times a year. It's the annual enrollment period that's October 15 to December 7 uh, that, that you can make a plan change. How often should I be reviewing my Medicare plan? Should I be doing that annually? 
I would do it annually. Um, and if any of the uh, anything happens here along the special enrollment period, then I would allow you to uh, you know to review that as well throughout the year. So I would definitely do it um, annually. Uh, what we do for our clients is each year we send them out a, a, a form that updates uh, with us the list of their medications and doctors and hospitals mm -hmm. that they're going to. And it allows us to compare all the different plans that are available to them in their situation. All right. Well, you guys have some educational seminars coming up where that's simply what they are. You're not selling anything. You're just talking about what people need to know when they're making these decisions about Medicare. Correct. So Ron Myers and myself, a colleague of ours at Citizen Advisory Group, we host these seminars on a, on a monthly basis as, at uh, many of the, uh, the libraries and senior centers throughout the area. So, um, you know, this is uh, just an educational, like, like you said, we're going to talk about Medicare, uh, what is it, how it works, and the different plan options that are available. Um, and you know, I think it's important to get that information in an educational in environment versus a, you know, a heavy right. sales pressure situation where we like to interact with with people and and, and provide them with uh, the education that they that they deserve. Well, it looks like there's a one uh, May 16th and at the Perrysburg Library, and then Sylvania Senior Center on the 19th, Owens Community College in at the Arrowwood Arrowhead. Yep. Uh, Park Campus on the 20th and the 20th also at the Owens Community College Toledo area campus of course as always you can go to your website citizenadvisory.com for more information or people can always give you a call correct so RSVP is optional so if you want to attend a seminar um, you know you can just show up but if you want some um, you know additional information you can call in and then if you want to meet individually as well uh, you don't have necessarily right. have to go to a seminar if someone wanted to meet individually just uh, you know, give us a call and we can help you review your plan options for you. All right. Well, as always, uh, it's never too early to start thinking about retirement. I think about it often. It's just a pipe dream for me, but... You have like 40 <laughs> years left, right? Yeah, yeah, 40 years. If I am still here in 40 years, somebody please come well, and take me out. I was just saying how young you were. Yeah, was. nobody's buying that, Jim. Yeah. Nobody's buying that. Thanks, as always, <laughs> to Citizen Advisory Group and Jim for helping us plan for better retirement here on Better Living. We'll be right back. Yep.